The title of this video is probably incorrect because I know there's someone out there that may have already done this idea. So yeah, don't take it personal or anything. So you may be wondering, what's the deal with the title? Like why you have to basically keep going with this never-ending trope? Well, I'm gonna be honest here, sketchbooks. All artists or people that are interested in making art need one. There's a bunch of disadvantages and advantages when it comes to owning a sketchbook or multiple sketchbooks, but honestly, there's more disadvantages, unfortunately. Since their usual cost is around 10, maybe 5 to like 20 or 13 dollars about, and that could add up. I know for some it may seem that it's quite affordable, but for others it may seem like, you know, not as affordable, especially where I live. Where I live, sketchbooks are pretty costly. It's just the whole money situation works differently in my country. Well, there's no need to worry about that anymore. Since I came up with a little invention, well, it technically is an invention, but it's not so great or anything. But it does save me some coins, and it's basically my makeshift sketchbook. Really, all you're gonna need is two things to make it and you don't need a sew or glue or staple anything and it's real easy to make and anyone could do it it's safe and you know affordable Basically, the things you'll be needing to make this alternative sketchbook is a folder here i have this plastic folder but make sure the folder has a clip just like this one they're very reasonable as well they range from like maybe one dollar or something and the other thing you'll be needing literally is just blank paper like you know the blank paper that you buy in a bulk that is what you're going to be needing the first thing you're going to have to do is get your folder and open it like so make sure you unclip this before using it after you opened it up you're going to get as much paper as you want to put in i usually put in this amount at a time and then you just clip the paper into the folder like that and that's it so yeah and this basically acts as a sketchbook you don't need to worry about ripping out pages or pages falling apart like i mean the pages unsticking to the sketchbook because some sketchbooks are glued on or sewed but the most common ones are the ones with the little spiral things i know the paper isn't the ideal type of paper you use or that you find in a sketchbook like you know paper that's suitable for any medium but if it's possible to find paper that's suitable for a medium that you want to use go ahead and buy a bulk of it and just put it in your folder if you're the type that likes to paint with like watercolors or any other medium that requires you wetting the page or any medium that's chalk based like chalk pastels or anything powdery or cray pods that are like wax based one thing that i do and that has worked for me basically i get one of these paper protectors and i i put one on top and one underneath underneath here you could do that if that's your case and it works really well also, you don't need to worry about accumulating a lot of sketchbooks that you're already done with and just having a big library of sketchbooks in the way. I'm going to give you an example on how much space you save instead of owning a dozen sketchbooks and you just take out the paper and you store it in a bigger folder like the one I'm going to show you right now. So this is the other folder that I was telling you about. It's basically one of those big folders that they're pretty dirty. I don't really know the name of it and <laughs> excuse me for that. These are all of the drawings that I made this year that I've taken out from this sketchbook. When I'm done with a picture or whatever, I just put it in here and I store it. And as you can see, it doesn't occupy as much space as a regular sketchbook. Because sketchbooks tend to be bulky, but some are um, bigger than others. But even if you get them small, they tend to occupy a lot of space in your closet. So yeah guys, let me know if this video was helpful. I really would love to know. Just remember to stay creative. Don't care what people think about your art. Just keep going and going. Just keep trying and trying and you'll get it. That's basically the key and all that stuff. But I'm saving that for a different video. My name is Kati and I'll see you later. Bye.